What you talking about, Walt Diddy? Keep on asking. I'm going to keep telling you. Jonathan Majors makes his comeback with this interview, and you're going to see that I think what they did is one of their rituals. He was a little too clean cut. Negro needed a charge, and the Negro needed a negress, right? We can't elevate you. Johnny Majors, I know you like snow bunnies, but not yet, sir. Not yet. You not arrived that much. Put you with a nice nigger like Megan Good. Watch this interview. Now to more of my exclusive interview with Jonathan Majors, the actor who was convicted of misdemeanor reckless assault and harassment just as his career was taking off. Majors says he always intended to take the witness stand, but didn't in the end because he felt the prior testimony was so compelling that there was nothing else for him to add. But now that the jury has spoken, he felt it was time to tell his story. It has been very, very, very uh, hard and very difficult and uh, confusing in many ways. Jonathan Majors breaking his silence just weeks after a Manhattan jury found him guilty of misdemeanor reckless assault and harassment of his ex-girlfriend Grace Jabari. The actor at times emotional. Oh, sorry. Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't seen my daughter in a, in a, in a, in a long time, you know, and um, a lot of it has to do with this situation. In a split verdict, Majors was found not guilty of two other misdemeanors, assault with intent to cause physical injury and aggravated assault. They're saying you didn't intend right. to injure her, right. but the result of your recklessness right. injured her. Right. Were you reckless? I was reckless with her heart. Mm. Not with her body. Not with her body. The physical altercation started inside an SUV after Majors received a suggestive text message from another woman. Hours later, after Majors placed a 911 call, police found Jabari unconscious on the closet floor in their apartment, as seen in this body camera footage. You feel that you did anything wrong on the night of March 25th, if you could relive that night? I wouldn't have picked her up. Now, what we see in here, this is A-list acting. What? This is all acting. Did you hear what he got convicted of? Nothing. Nothing. Nowhere in the realm of assault. Not even something that she can get civil payment for. If you notice, this vanilla hoe is bat shit crazy and wasted. How much cocaine and lean did she have to take to finally go to sleep? I don't know these things. I'm just breaking up with the algorithm. You feel that you did anything wrong? On the night of March 25th, if you could relive that night. I wouldn't have picked her up. I wouldn't have picked her up. I wouldn't have put her back in the car. I wouldn't have tried to keep her in the car. I would have gotten out that car and ran immediately. The two met back in 2021 on the set of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. The prosecution has described your relationship with Grace Jabari as tumultuous and abusive. How would you describe that to your relationship? I loved Grace. Our relationship was, it was not healthy, you know, and that began to reveal itself over time. Why'd you stay? I, I, was, I was scared. Um, with the red flags, I found that, I, and I use this word, I said, oh, this is dangerous. This is months before uh, um, the incident. I should have been brave. I should have said, no, this isn't working, and I should have walked away, um, and I didn't. This is damn genius acting. Ladies and gentlemen, genius acting. He is not dodging any questions. Are you noticing how he's taking accountability, blaming himself? And soon, 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 we're going to get the magical teardrop. Wait for it, ladies and gentlemen relationship were revealed when prosecutors presented text messages where majors expressed suicidal thoughts saying maybe i'm such a monster and horrible man that i don't deserve it and should just kill myself were you suicidal the, the ideations of removing myself hmm. from situations permanently is a thought that i've had um i mean since i was a kid you know since i was a you know, young boy on the farm in Texas, you know, it's not there anymore, you know. I've done that, I'm, I'm doing the work to, to keep it at bay and make sure it's not there anymore. 
Through it all, Major's new girlfriend, actress Megan Good, has remained by his side, even present for our interview. How would you describe your relationship? She's an angel. She's held me down like... like a, like a, like a Coretta, you know? I'm so blessed. This genius motherfucker. Black women, you should be moist in your panties. He just called this woman. Listen, you know what's above queen? Angel. Angel. I don't care what you, you can be queen of whatever. You cannot top angel. When is the last time a chocolate woman, your man, done said this? She's everything. She's, she's my angel. This motherfucker can act. Every incident thrust Major's dating history into the forefront. A Rolling Stone article back in June detailed multiple allegations of abusive behavior dating back to Major's relationships in college. Allegations Major's vehemently denies. His attorneys offered past partners to defend him. Have you ever had issues with domestic abuse? I've, I've witnessed it, um, but never participated, you know. I mean, I've, I've, I've been smacked up before, you know, but... Yeah, never, never exercised it. Those relationships went back to when I was, you know, 21, 22 years old, and I just think, was I a jerk, you know? Was I, you know... You know, a, a mean guy, you know, and I go, yeah, knowing what I know now, I'm like, oh, severe depression, childhood trauma. I've had very few relationships, um, so I can, I can, I can gather um, what situations we're talking about. Um, yeah, I was not the best boyfriend all the time. But never hit a woman. Never hit a woman. I've never... But my hands have never struck a woman, ever. This is how you know it's Hollywood. There's no police force that let you wear a damn hairstyle like that. I'm going to repeat to you again. To the Negro delegation, where in the 50 states, up to including Alaska and Hawaii, can your hair be that color and be wearing a badge? Need backup. Have you ever seen it? But what the hell, boy? And there it is. The comeback tour for Johnny Majors, which is a nothing burger. Even the best whole white trash, like, look at that bitch. She's drinking on the floor. He getting it done, like that. Got it. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, believe what you want to believe. Jonathan Majors will be back. Listen to me real, real good. Jonathan Majors will be back on set here at the end of 2024. Why? Too many distractions. You got damn possible aliens in Miami. It's an election year. Inflation still running hot. He gonna sneak right in the radar. If Marvel does not want him back, I guarantee you DC will take him and the black delegation is going to demand it. Why? He called Megan Good fine ass an angel. Angel of my